Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. My name is Maya Tejasari. I'm a medical doctor and researcher from Faculty of Medicine, Universitas Islam Bandung, Indonesia. I feel very honored to present our research in the science and technology research symposium organized by Research and Community Service Institution, LPPM, Universitas Islam Bandung. Our study that will be presented today entitled COVID Shield Safety Partition as Novel Approach for Health Workers Protection During COVID-19 Pandemic. This work was dedicated to every healthcare provider fighting this pandemic and to our COVID-19 patients, their families and loved ones. This study was carried out in memory of our college who lost their lives due to COVID-19. Please allow me to start the presentation. We like to present our study about COVID shield, a safety partition for head worker protection. This is the picture of COVID shield. First, I like to introduce our team and Titi Krespati, Bida Purbaningsi. This is me, Maya Tijasari, Yani Triani. Lali Yuniati, and our collaboration partner, engineering consultant, and COVID-19 task force unit. A novel coronavirus from the same family with SARS-CoV and MERS has spread worldwide, leading to WHO to declare a pandemic. This pandemic is fundamentally changed the world and consequently changed the reality of healthcare workers. Several countries managed to control the spread of COVID-19 very well, such as China and South Korea. But uh, many countries was uh, helpless against the COVID-19, such as USA, England, Germany, Denmark, and Italy. How about Indonesia? Indonesia reported a high accelerated new case and high mortality case. Uh, in increase an extraordinary case, the government issued a various program to prevent a more widespread transmission. One of the program is to do the rapid test for, initi for initial screening and PCR examination for the diagnostic. Many cases have been reported about the transmission of COVID-19 from the patient to the healthcare workers in around the world. There is a high death rate of Indonesian healthcare workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. Why was this happen? One possibility case of high uh, mortality rate of healthcare workers in Indonesia is the lack of uh, safety protection for medical personnel. Health worker protection is very important. However, the personal protection equipment is not always available in medical institutions handling the COVID-19 patients. The high risk of infection transmission from patient to the health worker to be covered. We need a protection facility to minimize the transmission. And the current personal protective equipment is uncomfortable and takes a long time to wear and remove. So we need to uh, develop the personal protective equipment that is easy to use and comfortable. And the limited of availability of this personal protective equipment, we need the PPA that can be used for a long time and not is possible. There was a high risk of infection transmission during swab specimen collection for PCR on rapid antigen test. Therefore, the infection transmission prevention are required during the swab specimen collection procedure. So, the development of personal protective equipment with high by safety standard for health workers was very important to prioritize. The aim of the study is to develop a protective equipment for health workers uh, to do the swab specimen collection procedure that compliant with biosafety standard, ergonomic, that is convenient and easy to use, and long-term use, and can be developed in various healthy facilities. 
This is the method. First, we do the literature study about epidemiology in the hospital that handle COVID-19 case and followed by focus group discuss about COVID-19 sweat specimen collection facilities with the hospital management and related health worker. Then we do the prototype design according to by safety standard and ergonomic principle followed by prototype development and proof of concept test. And the, the last is we, uh, empowerment of prototypes in the hospital. And this is the prototype development stages. First, uh, about design. The design we made according to biosafety standard and need, uh, as needed in health facilities. And the mock-up step is uh, about ergonomic suitability according to the technical procedure. And then uh, we do the factory acceptance test to do the function and accuracy test and follow by installation in the hospital uh, according to the COVID-19 handling flow. And the last is the evaluation. Here is the result from the design process. According to the situation and location analysis in the hospital, Hospital need some safety partition for the sweat specimen collection procedure. The partition will separate the patient zone from the head worker zone, so that was no mixing air between the zones. This is the red zone, uh, patient zone, and the head worker zone is in the yellow zone. With this partition, there is prevent infectious agent transmission. Then we do some simulation, many simulation, and from simulation result, the safety partition is need supporting equipment as needed in the swab specimen collection procedure. This is design, the design. Uh, from this design, you can uh, see that this is a partition and the supporting equipment as needed from for swab specimen collection procedure. The next step is mock-up process for ergonomic suitability. The mock-up process will provide the overview of the design before it apply in the real object. And in this partition development, the process is involved the health workers and the engineering consultant. And in this process, we determine the position of supporting equipment that enable the specimen specimen collection accurately and safely. We also determine the biological safety standard compliant material, such as glove materials. The glove material is chemical resistant, resistant to mechanical trauma, ozone and UV resistant, and flexible. This is the result, the safety partition prototype. This is partition with the supporting equipment a pair of gloves with a glove ring that, that seal the glove uh, very tightly and the toolbox in the center and the, in the right and left of the gloves. Next step is factory acceptance test to examine the function and accuracy of the, this prototype. This is how the health worker doing the uh, sweat specimen collection through the partition using the isolator gloves. This is the health worker and this is the patient. And this is the safety partition after factory acceptance test. We improve it with the microphone and disinfectant sprayer to minimize the uh, risk of transmission between the patient. At the same time, we name this safety partition as cockpit shield. And then the safety partition installed in the hospital. As we can see uh, this, this safety partition is installed in the room to swap specimen collection procedure. This, this partition is separate the room perfectly tightly so that with no mixing of air between the patient zone and the health worker zone. 
this is the hot worker zone and the other side is a patient zone this is a yellow zone and the other side is a red zone if this condition is preventing the infection transmission from the patient to the health worker as we can see this is sealed very tightly from the floor to the ceiling so there is no mixing area Supporting equipment in this partition, positioning ergonomically that allows the swab specimen collection procedure accurate and flexible. In the right, we can see the toolbox and VTM rack. And in the left from the uh, gloves, there is a cool box and bin storage. And this, uh, this is a disinfectant sprayer to minimize the transmission between the patients and this is the a pair of gloves an isolated glove that resistance from chemical mechanical uv and ozone with a glove ring glove ring this glove ring is seal the glove so there is no chance to mixing air between the patient zone and the health worker zone and the safety partition is open shield used in our Islam Bandung Hospital for handling the COVID-19 cases. The safety partitions also have been registered in the Director General of Intellectual Property, Republic of Indonesia, as Intellectual Property Right. The conclusion of the study was uh, there was a prototype of safety partition facility has been developed for the swab specimen collection procedure that accordance to biosafety standard. The partition uh, is prevent the infectious agent transmission, including the COVID-19 virus, from the patient to health worker, and the supporting equipment is positioned ergonomically and minimize the risk of transmission between the patient. The material of these partitions allow this protective facility to be long-term use and can be adapted to the location and condition of any health facility. We would like to express our gratitude to the Research and Community Service Institution of Universitas Islam Bandung and the Center of Intellectual Property Rights Universitas Islam Bandung and our Faculty of Medicine, Universitas Islam Bandung, Al Islam Bandung Hospital, the Engineering Consultant, Hikmat Ali Tamsar and K. Adiansa, and our Industrial Partner, Sifi Sinar Gemilang. We hope the development of the safety partition have a good impact in protecting the health workers, accelerating the handling of COVID-19 pandemic and encourage the participation of the homeland industry. Thank you for the attention. Alhamdulillah, Robert Alamin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.